everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I'm going to make a real quick lunch. So I'm going to use my side dish of cabbage that I made and also a chicken breast. So I've been buying these Purdue. I like the way they come in the package like this. So what happens is I take them out of the package and I throw them in the freezer and that way they're individual and uh, they don't stick together. You don't have to cook five chicken breasts for just Barb and myself. We, we normally cook four. So I have a pan here and I'm going to put some olive oil in the pan and put it on the burner, get it hot. And uh, I also have some lemon juice that I'm going to use, salt and pepper, and garlic powder, and onion powder. I always use these two together when I cook meat. So these chicken breasts, I like just to lay them out and just get them flat. This one's nice and flat already, so I'll use that one. Flatten these little rascals out like this. You get two of them that you like. And some of them have a bigger hump on them than others. If I'm going to use one with a big hump on it, I want to have a match for that if I'm making two so that they cook at the same time. So today this is lunch, so I'm only going to cook a chicken breast for Barb and one for myself. The rest of those go back in the freezer now. Pan is starting to get hot. Give me a little bit. I'm going to run around there of the oil. Now, when I cut these, in case you do end up getting these packages, I cut the long ways. I'll go wash my hands, let those go for a minute. They're cooking nicely. Let's season them up. Some pepper, salt, and this is onion. This one here, the garlic. Just like that. Now these only cook a few minutes per side, and then we'll check with a meat thermometer. These are looking real delicious. Let's go ahead and get some olive oil in here. Right around the outside of them. You can pour some over the top if you want. Then I'll go ahead and turn them over. Mix them right in that olive oil. And I can check them with the thermometer. Lots of times when I'm doing the thermometer, I like to stack them on top of each other. That way I don't accidentally read the pan. So I'm reading 160 already. 160, I think it was 161 before I pulled it out. You just gotta make sure, make sure you're getting a correct reading. Yeah, they're gonna be just a little bit while I finish these here. Next thing I'm going to do is to throw some butter in here. Uh, you can throw the butter in safely because you already have the olive oil in. And I would try to aim it for the olive oil. 
if your olive oil has pulled off to the side because your stove is not exactly level, that's where I would throw it because you want to mix it anyway. Get that butter melting. And we need to do this before it burns. Okay, my butter and my olive oil is now melted together. Now you could take lemon, and I actually have real lemons, but it's just easier just to grab the concentrate. I keep this around for when I want to do a quick meal. I don't notice any difference between cutting up a lemon and buying lemon or lime concentrate. I don't know if you do. Let me know in the comments if you do. I can tell you a tip about lemons, though. I bought them almost a week ago, and I didn't use them, and I left them in the plastic bag, and I went to go pull them for this, and they had mold on them. So, unfortunately, when you bring things home, you got to open them up right away, but it's hard when you're busy and doing a lot of shows and things, and you don't have a staff of 100 people. It's basically just barbing myself. Making lunch and dinner, once in a while a breakfast. And of course that cooled off the pan. So if your pan was getting really hot when you put that lemon juice in there, it, it cools off the pan. I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. I like to keep them moving. I don't want to burn one side or another. And then the last minute Put the lid on it and let them steam. After two minutes, I pull the lid, throw in some bacon, which is pre-cooked, but it will still give us some taste here. And this, this juice is not fat that I'm throwing away. This is going to be a marinade that I'm going to baste the pork chops with. So the bacon is going to uh, be a nice taste here. Turn them over once again. They are not burnt. Let's go ahead and pile them and then we can check the temperature. Hard to do with my left hand when right handed. 157. 58. Yeah, they're going to go to 160 here real quick. Now I'm going to turn my pan to the opposite way that the liquid is running in the pan. And you could use a baster or anything that you're comfortable with with moving this. I just have a big basting spoon that I use. Try to be careful, don't scratch your pan with a metal spoon. I'm going to turn these off. There we go. Let's go ahead and get a few things out of the way here. Well, that finishes. have to be done by now. All my heat is turned off. Get 
nice big chicken breast. We'll lay some bacon up on top of this. Bacon I cooked in the oven. I pre-cook it in the oven. And then we just need some cabbage as a side. So we put some cabbage on the plate. There you go. We call this a quick, easy, easy, easy lunch. Grab an apple. Now if you want, you could also put some cheese on top of this. Any kind of cheese. Parmesan, mozzarella, or both. That's my show for the day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.